Howdy y'all, Bradley here, and today we're exploring the top things to do during your trip to Dublin, the capital city of Ireland. Dublin is a city filled with history, culture, and natural beauty. We've compiled a list of the top five things to do in Dublin that you don't want to miss, so let's dive in. The first thing on our list is the famous Guinness Storehouse. Located in the heart of Dublin, this seven-story building, shaped like a pint of Guinness, tells the story of the famous beer and its brewing process. Visitors can take a self-guided tour and learn about the ingredients used to make the Guinness, the history of the brand, and the marketing campaigns that had made it famous around the world. And of course, enjoy a complimentary pint of Guinness in the Gravity Bar at the end of the tour. Next on our list is the National Museum of Ireland, with three branches in Dublin, archaeology, decorative, Arts and History, Natural History. The archaeology branch has a collection of ancient Irish artifacts, including the Abra Chalice and the Terra Broke. The Decorative Arts branch displays objects from Ireland's most recent past history, such as furniture, clothing, and weaponry. And the National History branch has a vast collection of animals, including extinct species like the Irish elk, and the dodo. Third on our list is a day trip to the Cliffs of Mower. Located on the west coast of Ireland, these cliffs stretch for eight kilometers along the Atlantic Ocean and rise to a height of 214 meters at the highest point. Visitors can walk along the cliff edge and take in the stunning views which include the Iran Islands and the Twelve Bends Mountain Range. The cliffs are also home to a variety of seabirds including Puffins, Guillemots, and Razorbills. Fourth on our list is Dublin Castle. This historic castle built in the 13th century has played an important role in Ireland's history. It was the seat of British rule in Ireland for over 700 years and has also been used as a military fortress, a royal palace, and a government building. Today, visitors can take a guided tour of the castle and see the state apartments, the throne room, and the Chapel Royale. Last but not least on our list is Dublin Zoo. Located in Phoenix Park, Dublin Zoo is home to over 400 animals from around the world. The zoo is divided into different habitats, such as African savanna and the world of primates. Visitors can also attend daily animal talks and feedings, making it fun and educational day out for all ages. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour and that you'll have a chance to visit Dublin and experience these amazing attractions in person. Thanks for watching and as always, whether you're out traveling the countryside or good old country folk out traveling, all that matters is you find the time, get out, and travel. Until next time.